I'm Luann. Today's theme is farm animals. Children love farm animals. They learn to make the sounds of the animals pretty quickly at a young age. They also like to sing songs about them, like Old MacDonald Had a Farm, or read stories about them. An important skill for preschoolers to have is to be able to retell a story. The book, The Little Red Hen by Byron Barton is one version of an old story with simple pictures. This is a good book for you to use with your child to have them retell it. As you read it, talk about the pictures. What's happening? Who are the characters in the story? Ask them what they think is going to happen next. After you read the book, once or twice, have them retell the story in their own words. And you can use props like some toy animals that you might have around the house. You could ask them, what are the characters in the story? What happened first? What happened next? What did the animals say when the little red hen asked for help? A fun ending to the retelling of the story could be drawing a picture of the story and you can work on it together. Being able to restart tell a story is a valuable skill for your preschooler. It aids in comprehension, it fosters imagination, and it helps make a connection with things that they already know. Wordless pictures are great too because children need to pay close attention to the illustrations. They encourage creativity because they need to draw their own assumptions about what is happening in the story. The pictures can help make connections to something they've seen in real life and together you could even make up a story. Here's a couple of picture books, wordless picture books, that you could use that have great pictures in them. And this is Fly by Mark T. And you could talk about what is going on in this picture. Oh, and I did it the wrong way. <laughs> and that's even more fun too because you have to figure out which way the pictures are going. So this is a great book. And another great book is by a, a classic author, Tommy DePaula, Pancakes for Breakfast. And after you read this book, you could go have some pancakes of your own. Thanks for joining me today.